On Saturday, May the 17th, 2008, I took an outing from Peppermint Grove to visit the Freeman Oak Boat Harbor. Hi, welcome to this production. I caught Transperth Rapid Train from the Mosman Park Station. Headed towards the boat harbor at the mouth of the Swan River, overlooking the Indian Ocean. Signs of the maritime heritage quickly come into view. My mates and I hop off the train and leave the railway station. The railway line was built in the late 1890s to service the uh, burgeoning wheat belt and the Kalgoorlie gold fields. Fremantle was filled with old historic buildings dating back to the gold rush of the late 1890s. In that period, a tremendous expansion and prosperity. Many of the buildings have been bought by the University of Notre Dame, one of the four universities in Perth, and the last one to get established. The old courthouse even the public lavatories date back to the 1890s on this lovely park. This boat harbor is not the commercial boat harbor. It's set up for tourists with loads of interpretive signs, cappuccino bars, restaurants and pubs. There's a lovely boardwalk overlooking the fishing boats, cruise boats, and luxury yachts. The cray fishermen are celebrated in bronze sculpture. The round cray pots are no longer used. Fishermen make up the lifeblood of the harbor and are also celebrated. Kalis's Fish is one of the many large fishing companies. We have the barbecue seafood platter for lunch. We take a, lot, a walk along the boat harbor and review some plaques to the America's Cup defense in 1987. That was quite a momentous year. The buildings erected by these fishing companies are quite um, impressive. Hardly the cheap galvanized buildings one might expect. There's more in this harbor than fishing vessels. Hello, there are fishing vessels and quite an active fishing industry from this port. The Freeman of Volunteer Sea Rescue Lookout Tower. A sculpture using an old boy. 
I think it says free mental doctor, referring to the cool afternoon summer winds that blow in off the ocean. There's even the Quest Harbor Village and holiday accommodation in the middle of this harbor. This sand beach used to be the center of a swimming pavilion and a one kilometer wooden wharf where the yearly sailing vessels tied up. A picture of the early wharf and the segregated swimming area. More information on the long jetty, a kilometer in length out into the ocean. There's a lots of restaurants and fish and ship places, but Joe's fishery is unique in its decor. Well, we've done our exploration and we're getting quite thirsty. We go to Little Creatures. Little Creatures is a boutique pub that produces some very nice beers and has a large pizza factory. It's always very crowded, but the service is good and the staff are friendly. Would you like an oven baked pizza, sir? My companions there and west and Mark Pillage. We are joined by another friend who also hails from Kingston, Ontario, and we attended the same university, Queens, Anthony Deutschman. And my name is Don. This bright ale is good. Well, we move on for a mammoth seafood meal. We deselect Cicerellos. I've got an interesting display. Uh, newspaper articles and a kayak that was bitten almost in half by a white pointer shark near Cottesloe. Here's the hole in the kayak bitten by the shark. Cutterstow is four blocks from my house and the beach is a very popular swimming area. There's some lovely aquariums. Some of the uh, pastries available at Cicerello's. See what I mean by large seafood meals? Cappuccinos follow the meal. Like Victoria Key in Cape Town, South Africa, there's lots to see and do Fremantle Harbour. We enjoy looking at the selection of motorcycles. Oh, 
while we're crossing the tracks. 